carrying your faith wherever you go. We know that faith is trust, confidence. It's a person individually or group have been persuaded by the words that they have heard. The Bible says in Romans 17, verse of the 10th chapter, it says, so then faith cometh, King James, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Carrying your faith wherever you go. When you wake up, you should have your faith. Not written upon your shirt, not in your purse, but in your heart. You must trust in the Lord Jesus with your whole heart. You must carry your faith. So I hope that you heard this because the book of Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, it, he was wondering who had believed this report. And, and it, you know, those that are believing is the ones that the Lord has revealed it to them. Carrying your faith wherever you go. You go out there in that world, you go out there um, in the schools that you attend and you studying, you have to carry your faith. When you have a test to take, after you have disciplined yourself, dedicate yourself and study well to take that test and pass it. Carrying your faith wherever you go. Because it's impossible to please the Lord if you don't. I have prayed for you all way before I got on here. I'm always keeping you all in my heart. I have prayed for you all for everything that you may have asked for in God's will and also desires, not contrary to God's will or God's uh, way, but those that things that the Lord will give you according to the desires of your heart. Yes, I'm always praying for you. You must believe the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I know in the book of Psalms, the 14th chapter, we have folks that are empty. Verse 1, and they don't believe in anybody. They don't believe in the true God. They do not follow Jesus. And you saw or you read how in the book of Hebrews, very good book of talking about faith in the 11th chapter. And they believed. Enoch believed and he was translated. He never saw death as a mortal person. We have our great brother in the Lord, Abel. He trusts and he believed that he would do his best earnestly to give the Lord the best sacrifice. And he had a more excellent sacrifice than his brother came. Abraham had to have faith because it's impossible to please the Lord. In the Old Testament, the Jews stumbled. We must have faith today in things that we're doing, in our health, 
We must have faith that we'll eat right, we'll think right, especially you all that have been born again. You must have faith that you will come out of that religion and get into the body of Christ one day. Doing only, only one way is by being born again. Baptized in Jesus' name for the remissions of sins and filled with the Holy Ghost. I know they say in most churches, Holy Spirit, but it's nothing wrong with saying Holy Ghost. I know I read the history. Well, that means that it's something dead. No, not this ghost. This is a Holy Ghost that will dwell in you. You need to be born again. I don't care what, how well you can sing, how many concerts do you been to or you've been asked to go to a book to, you must be born again. You must break out of that religion that you in and come into Christ. Come to get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Know